Today we're going to talk about best neighborhoods to buy a home in Vernon, BC, and we're starting now. I'm Lisa Salt with Remax Vernon Salt Fowler. I'm a local real estate expert here from Vernon, BC, and our group has helped thousands of clients buy and sell properties in the greater Vernon area and I'm here to share my experience with you. I want to tell you what our clients say are the most popular neighborhoods in our fair area. So let's start with a quick overview of Vernon. Vernon's located in the Okanagan Valley. It's known for its beautiful lakes, mountains, and scenic views. The city has stunning natural beauty. The lakes, the mountains, the forests surrounding it makes it for a super popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts who love that hiking and biking and skiing and water sports. Now let's talk about the factors to consider when choosing a neighborhood. One of the most important things to think about is your budget, of course. You'll want to find a neighborhood that's within your price range, your comfortable price range. Other factors to consider include your type of lifestyle, proximity to amenities, schools, work, that sort of thing. So now what do our clients say are the best neighborhoods to buy homes in in Vernon? Let's take a look. Number one, Holdstream. Bar none, most popular area, and also the most expensive. Coldstream is uh, like it's a beautiful area located just outside the city of Vernon's limits. In fact, it's its own municipality. It has its own mayor, its own council, its own municipal offices, etc. Although Coldstream does take advantage of many of the city of Vernon's services as well. It's part of what we call Greater Vernon though, which includes Vernon and Coldstream. Coldstream's known for its more rural feel it's far less dense than Vernon, and it has the advantage of including in the municipality the stunning Kalamalka Lake. Lucky Coldstream. Kalamalka Lake has been deemed by National Ge Geographic to be one of the 10 most beautiful lakes in the entire world. And if you have ever seen it perform at the height of summer, you would think you're in the Caribbean. If you love it outdoors, you'll love Coldstream because there's just so many outdoor activities. Kalamalka Provincial Park is in Coldstream and there's hiking and biking and horseback riding right in the park. Plus the beautiful Jade and Juniper Bays, which they're just incredibly beautiful beaches and the water sports. Plus there's a dog beach, I love that. Coldstream has many neighborhoods within it and that have such stunning lake views, such as the aptly named Calview States, which has beautiful views across Kalamalka Lake and straight through the Monashi Mountains. It's got a really nice exposure. You get morning sun and it's so it's cooler in the afternoon. So when you're, it's high summer, that's a nice thing. Plus it's very close to the highway to get to Kelowna. And that is one advantage of Coldstream that I should mention right now is it is closer to Kelowna than any other area. So you're closer to the airport, you're closer to Costco. Then there's Long Lake and Lachine Estates on the opposite side of the lake from Calview. Has also stunning lake views. And then there's Middleton Mountain, which has views like right down Kalamalka Lake. And then Coldstream Valley Estates that has views of both lakes and then the Coldstream Valley. And if you would rather have a valley view, no problem. There's tons and tons of valley views that you can get in Coldstream. And if you have a really big budget, Coldstream will offer you all sorts of selection of lakeshore properties as well. Now they're gonna be on the highest end of any scale. And as far as attractions in Coldstream, like where do I start? There's the rail trail where you can bike or you can walk all the way to Kelowna, right along Cal Lake. There's Cal Park, you can find the stunning Jade and Juniper Bays, all the trails for hiking and biking and horseback riding, plus the dog beach. Cal Park is 3,218 hectares. You won't run out of things to do there, that's for sure. There's also a beautiful trail system in Middleton Mountain. If you like that, if you love the hiking, then you can go all the way up Middleton Mountain and right up to a nature's preserve at the very top that they can never build on. Then of course, at the bottom of Middleton Mountain, you have Kalamalka Lake and Rotary Pier, the most popular beach in town. There's two elementary schools in Coldstream, Coldstream Elementary and Kidston Elementary. There's actually the Lavington Elementary as well. And then there's Kalamalka Secondary. Coldstream is almost entirely single family homes and small and large acreages. You hardly have any condos or townhouses. If you want an apartment, you will likely have to head back to Vernon. 
and you will find that Coldstream homes do come with the highest price tag. If money is no object and you want kind of a more uh, beautiful lake view or a more rural feel, then you should probably head over to Coldstream. If you want an acreage, Coldstream is a great choice. But there's two more great areas to talk about. But before we do, please remember to subscribe to our channel and like this video as we're posting new videos like this every single week. On this channel, we give you straight goods on Vernon and the whole Okanagan Valley, our ultimate Four Seasons Paradise. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days or just curious about the area that we call home, be sure to call, text or email and just add salt. Moving on, if Coldstream is about the views of the lake, East Hill is about the charm and convenience. It's located on a hill, obviously, in the east side of town, and it overlooks the city. The main thing about East Hill and why it's so popular are the historic homes. There are beautiful heritage homes all over East Hill. Some, you know, beautiful tree-lined streets, just beautiful mature trees, because it was one of the first areas of Vernon to be developed. They built a hundred of them just after the war. There's a hundred, they're called a hundred homes in the East Hill at the top. And it has, East Hill has super easy access to downtown Vernon. You can walk downtown from pretty much anywhere in the East Hill. It won't, won't take you long. Most homes are on the regular size or small lots, although some are on larger lots, although most of those acreages have been split up and subdivided throughout the years and have had homes built on them. Some homes have beautiful city and valley views. Some are high enough that you can see Okanagan Lake as well. And in addition to its convenience to downtown Vernon, East Hill has excellent schools, including Silver Star Elementary, Hillview Elementary, and just a bit outside of East Hill, technically, Barristow Elementary isn't East Hill, but for French immersion, you're right above there. It's very, very close. Then for secondary school, there's Vernon Secondary School right at the very top of East Hill. There's quite a few parks in the sub area of East Hill. There's many churches. There's a corner store, a nice little eatery with excellent pizzas and poutine. And then again, anything you want right downtown Vernon. You're right there. There's city bus routes all over East Hill as well. And oh yeah, you know what? I don't want to forget Hillview Golf Course located right in East Hill. Nice little golf course with a good restaurant. There are nice, quiet places to walk all over East Hill. And if you're into hiking, at the top of East Hill and just beyond the Mewtree Dog Park is the Grey Canal Trail. You can take advantage of that. Real estate-wise, there's those small wartime homes I talked about, all the way to brand new infill homes and literally everything in between. Plus a number of adult-oriented townhomes and communities in the area and pretty much all price ranges. If you want a neighborhood that is conveniently close to downtown, or if you want to buy a heritage home, then East Hill is the perfect area, the perfect neighborhood for you. Our third most popular area, and once again, it's all about the lake. It's just a different lake this time. It's about Okanagan Lake. Okanagan Landing is our third area. And Okanagan Landing is a vibrant neighborhood located on the east side of Okanagan Lake and it's known for its stunning waterfront properties and then the easy access to beaches and parks all around the area. It's a really large area as well. There's a lot going on here. So if you love spending time by the water, this is the perfect neighborhood for you. The beaches here are less congested than Cal Beach, although in peak summer times, they're all busy. However, there's just, there's more of them on Okanagan Lake. Now, Okanagan Lake may not be prettier than Cal Lake, but it's bigger. You can travel all the way down to Penticton on Okanagan Lake, so it's, doesn't, it's not as congested. It's literally 135 kilometers long. So there's tons of beaches. It's far less busy in high summer than Kalamalka, which is kind of a nice, that's a bonus, I think. Now there's Kin Beach or Kinsman Park, actually, at the head of the lake, which is a huge beach and park area. Then there's Paddle Wheel Park, which is where the steamships actually used to dock. Plus they have a boat launch, they have the beach, they have a beautiful big park area. They have the par Paddle Wheel Park Hall that you can rent for your event. And then there's tennis and pickleball and like everything. It's a nice big park. Then the third big beach or set of beaches on the Vernon end of Okanagan Lake is Ellison Provincial Park which is beautiful. It has a big campsite area, beautiful red sandy beaches, got a dog beach as well, which is very important. 
And then there's a big trail system, which goes all the way through there, the campsites down to the beaches and a big mountain bike riding trail up in behind that you can go all the way to Predator Ridge. And there's not only those beaches, there's other smaller beaches as well. There's Hurlburt Park, which also has an off-leash dog area. There's Lakeshore Park right at the head of the lake, not too far from Kin Beach. So those are nice as well. So you can see in Okanagan Landing, there's more areas to get public access to the lake. And then you also have Marshall Field is in Okanagan Landing, which is a real great park. It is beautiful. Tons of soccer, indoor pickleball, and a beautiful off-leash dog park as well. Okanagan Landing has also some excellent schools, including Okanagan Landing Elementary, Ellison Elementary, and Fulton Secondary Schools. The two latter are Ellison and Fulton are newer schools, whereas Okanagan Landing School I went there. It's a fairly old school. There are many churches in the Okanagan Landing area as well. All sorts of other amenities. There's the Bylow Mall has, well, Bylow, McDonald's, Tim Hortons. Next door, there's the Longhorn Pub and Papa John's and the liquor store. And because Okanagan Landing is so big and you may not be in walking distance of these amenities, however, some of them might be on the bus route, but they're a quick drive as well. The airport, the small Vernon Regional Airport, also in Okanagan Landing. And you can see the planes taking off and landing. Cal Tire Jet goes in and comes back every day. And you see parachuters jumping out of perfectly good planes for some reason and landing in the airport area. In Okanagan Landing, you're also close to the Rise Golf Course. If you're a golfer, and then you're also really close to Predator Ridge as well. Oh, and you're also very close to Sparkling Hill. You can go up there for dinner or just enjoy the views. Now there's a variety of homes in Okanagan Landing from mobile homes on pads to waterfront homes and again everything in between. Some homes are built on the flat but many of them have views because they're built on the hills and then they're overlooking the lake and the valley. And I should mention actually on the other side of the valley from Okanagan Landing are Bella Vista area and Adventure Bay, which are really equally beautiful areas with an abundance of beautiful views uh, and beautiful homes. This whole north end of Okanagan Lake is fantastic. Because Okanagan Landing was not part of the city of Vernon until 1993, it was part of the North Okanagan Regional District, you find some homes in the area that are still on septic, not on sewer. You'll find sometimes the older areas have little tiny houses right next door to big, huge houses. However, it's a great area, tons to do, price ranges to fit any budget, plus lots and lots of selections of different types of properties. Now, when we look at all three of these neighborhoods, you can see each has their own unique benefits from the natural beauty of Coldstream, to the convenience of East Hill, to the waterfront properties of Okanagan Landing. I don't think you can go wrong by living anywhere in Vernon, personally. However, again, these are the three most popular sub areas that our clients recommend where our clients wanna live. When choosing a neighborhood for yourself, it's important to consider your lifestyle, your budget, and the proximity to the amenities. With a little research and the help of a local professional real estate expert, I happen to know one, you can find the perfect neighborhood to call home. To learn more about Vernon, please download our Vernon Relocation Package at vernonrelocation.com. Just add some.